Hey, thanks for stopping by. This is Teresa from Semi Dolls. In this video series, we're going to make a doll following the Amelie pattern, including all the hair, the clothes, and the shoes. And Amelie is 18 inches tall and can swap clothes with dolls like American Girl, Guts, and Our Generation, etc. All the other videos in the series are linked down below in a playlist, and you can find the link to the pattern down below as well. And now, let's get started! You will need doll skin fabric, the doll body pattern pieces, an air erasable pen and a pair of fabric scissors. Trace the arms, legs, head and torso pieces onto the fabric. Trace the head cover to the fabric on the fold. You can cut out a front and back piece for the torso. I typically just trace and cut the longer back piece twice as my doll skin fabric comes in a tube. Because we're going to fold over the back piece later on to sew on the bottom darts, we're going to need a longer piece for the back and the front we just need a shorter one. But because it's easier and everything's already doubled up here, I'm just using one long piece and we'll shorten the other one when it's time to assemble the torso pieces. Cut the fabric around the traced pattern pieces. I'm using the triple stretch stitch. So on the lines you just trace off the head cover, the arms and legs. We will leave the torso pieces open for now as we will still sew some bottom darts on the back piece of the torso.
Cut around the pattern pieces with a seam allowance of 1 cm or 0.4 inches. Fold over the bottom part of the torso piece so that it matches up with the dart and trace the bottom dart onto the fabric. Sew along the trace lines. Snip off the fabric on the dart corners. Cut off the extra bit of the front torso piece unless you cut out two different pieces for the front and back torso and pin the pieces together. As you can see there's a little bit extra here on the front so I just cut it off now. Finish assembling the torso by sewing both pieces together along the long edges. the long side edges. If you like you can leave a couple of centimeters open at the top on both sides. It might make it easier to sew the torso fabric to the arms and shoulders later on. Fold the toe opening of the foot, making sure the center seams match up and stitch across the front of the foot. Turn all fabric pieces inside out except for the torso piece.
and then we're done for now. In the next video we're going to assemble the whole body of the doll and I hope I see you in that video again. This video and all the other videos are linked down below in the playlist. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video and it was useful to you. Please give it a like if you like, subscribe for more videos, leave a comment with feedback and video requests. And if you like, head on over to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to connect with you over there. See you next time. Bye.